Hi and welcome to Girl Talk. It is an absolutely glorious day and we've been talking about this gorgeous weather here in the Low Country Beautiful. and Hilton Head Island. Debbie Cordes with us today. Jen Lockhart, Jim Hines is here from Equilibrium. Thank you very much for joining us. I didn't realize you all had uh, some history. Absolutely, yes. My office, my coaching practice is located inside Equilibrium. So it's a, it's a nice a fit with facility. the weight loss clients as well. Great. That is yeah. a good fit. It yeah. is. Yeah. Good sometimes, synergy. Sometimes you need that little extra help. You know, there's a lot of times mm -hmm. there's an, an emotional route to overeating, and so there's some cases I can help out with that. Y'all were talking before we started filming. You were talking over there and just about summer coming on yes. and Not eating too, habits. How, how and... to avoid the pitfalls, um, you know, particularly, I think for anyone, it's an issue in the summer, just with picnic food and things like that. I was going to say the corn on the cob and the ice oh, cream pitfalls. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we were talking particularly about people with young children, yeah. you know, because... You just, next thing you know, 2,000 calories later and a jug of goldfish mm -hmm. and hot dogs and, you know, all the things that kind of mean summer, but don't necessarily help your waistline. So. Are you all about moderation? Yes, it's equilibrium, balance. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe not moderation. It's, there are good, you know, you're going to have days when you take the kids to the right. beach that, you know, that's what you're going to have is goldfish. Mm -hmm. Now, if you, do, if you do it one day, probably not too bad. You do it for 45 straight days or you know, over the entire summer, it's going to add up. And that's really what we talk about is, and, and Jenny talks to a lot of the patients about that, is when you're trying to manage your weight, how do you do that? And yeah. what does that look like for equilibrium? What, what are some of the, the, the techniques or the tips that you have for us? <laughs> well, I, I, again, I Don't try. <laughs> <yet>. <laughs> it's if it's an ind an indulgence is something you do rarely when it become when you start to do it every day now it's a habit and you have to really stop and think how am i behaving and it's okay to indulge it's okay to have ice cream it's okay to have goldfish yeah. but when it's 7 days a week or 10 days you know 10 days in a row it's going to start to add up so it's really the mental part do you it's work through in terms of sub substitutions when you get to that crossroad when when you get to that V in the road and you say i can have goldfish or Cucumber. Yeah. What? Cucumber. Yeah, right, right. And I'm even going to interject more. Yeah. I think it's about the why. Why do I want that gold? Fish? Absolutely. Well, that kind or of digs what, a little deeper. Am I eating deeper. because I'm hungry or Correct. am I eating to Correct. fulfill something? Am I bored or sad or lonely? You know, I, I tell people, and I've said this to you before, I always say halt. Am yes. I hungry, angry, lonely, tired? Why yeah. am I doing what I'm doing? Absolutely. And if I can answer one of those, then, you know, yeah. it, it just makes sense. But going back to equilibrium. Well, and to add to that, too, sometimes in the summer, the challenge becomes opportunity. If all you pack for the beach is that, Absolutely. you don't have a choice. Absolutely. If you go to someone's barbecue and all they have are things that aren't necessarily good for you, mm -hmm. you don't really have an option. But, you know, let's be honest, most of the time when I do go to barbecues or things like that, there are, there are healthier options oh, out sure. there. Well, and, and you can bring the one. Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. If you're going they're somewhere there. and you're concerned that there's not going to be anything appropriate to eat, then make a salad and bring it exactly. to the hotel. That's exactly what you you're know, saying. Yes. And it's that proactivity. Same thing at the beach. You know, mm -hmm. if I know I'm going to be hungry at 3 o'clock and I'll eat whatever's in front of me, then, you know, if you pack, pack the apples treats, and the pears. Yeah, exactly. Then if that's all you have, the kids will eat it frozen as well. Frozen so. grapes. Oh, frozen grapes. Oh, frozen no, aren't those grapes. awesome? I love frozen yeah. grapes. Yeah. Those are amazing. Yeah. Like, that see, to me, to this time of, of year yeah. and heading into the summer, the, the farmer's yeah. markets oh. and the great produce and just mm -hmm. things like that that you can get a little bit more readily um, that are more readily available. You're a healthy and eater. Always. You've always been a healthy eater. I, I kind of give uh, that nod to my mom because nobody, when I was growing up, nobody wanted to switch lunches with me because right. <laughs> I had the whole grain bread and I had the apple and yeah. It was like, you know, again, Debbie Swider always had the Wonder Bread right. salami oh, sandwich and the bag after. of Fritos. Yeah. And I was like, oh, someday, someday yeah. when I grow up, I'm going to eat that. I'm eat white bread every but day. now it's like I just don't have the desire, desire the taste, the for, taste it. Yeah. for it like I do. Are you a healthy eater? I, most of the time. And I, what I do find is that when I do have a slip, um, actually, we were just talking with a client mm -hmm. yesterday about five guys. And I said, you know, when I don't eat, when I'm eating healthy, things uh -huh. like that don't even appeal to me. When I'm off the wagon and I'm indulging more, and once you start eating that stuff, you, I personally seem to want more of it. You know, so it's more like, okay, if you're going to have it once, then the next day get back on track. Otherwise, it's going to be two, three weeks, and you've been eating all the time. And that makes sense. We're going to get back on track. We're going to take a break here on Girl Talk. Stay with us. Girl Talk is brought to you by employee-owned The Greenery, Stoneworks, Custom Audio Video, and Island Tire and Automotive Services. Please support these local businesses as they make this program possible.